Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska, and we're picking up right where we left off last time, which is harvesting our corn. Now, we've got just about half of this field done, if you count the headlands. So I think what we're gonna do is jump into a bit of a montage here and get through harvesting this field.
right, we're back out here in the field, cleaning up the last final bits and pieces. Our course play driver got, uh, I don't know, confused. He was just sitting out here in the grain cart doing a lot of nothing. So we're going to take over for him, unload these combines real quick here, since we're really just about done. I think there's just one little small bit up here in the corner of the field that we've got to get unloaded. And so I'm just grabbing a bit of this corn to let him keep moving here. I think they've got to drive around the curvy bits of the field. And we're going to zip up here and get the lead combine unloaded as well. Now, unfortunately, he didn't cut in or anything. He's just sitting here in a really awkward state. So I guess we'll hop in and back him up to unload. Oh, we've got this humongous corn stock pile. The corn stock yield or the just, I don't know, uh, how big the piles are seems to be a bit out of control at the moment. Well, here we go. Exciting times. Now, I'm hoping that we've got enough corn in here to fill up this semi and send it back up. Because I'd like to stage the rest of this equipment in our next field and I'm hoping that we can get all of this corn into the neck into these two semis so we can send all this equipment right on up to the next field and then have the semis come and catch up with us after since they're quite a bit faster I'd hate to have to wait for another semi to come out here but I think we're gonna be in a pretty good spot so we're just going to grab the rest of what's in the lead combine here. Look like he had a little bit in here. And we'll run this over to the semi-trailer and see if we can top him off, send him back up to the farm here. There we go. All emptied out. Perfect. We're not quite full here, but I know we've got a good amount in that semi-trailer already. So I'm hoping, hoping that we're going to top it off here with this load. If not, we'll get a little bit more corn here out of the uh, back corner of this field. And we'll probably just send him back up to the farm with whatever he's got in him. Because at a minimum, he'll be over the halfway full, I'm pretty sure. We have dumped into the sky at least once already, it looks like. All emptied out. Semi's not full yet, so I guess we'll let him stick around until we can get the last bits of this field done here. These combines should make really short work of this. I think we've probably got, what, one more pass with each of them here to wrap this up. We're going to apparently be doing a little bit of uh, head-on... Uh, collision here so let's see if we can jump into this guy and head the head off before we have an incident apparently I'm not fast enough we'll back this guy up and take these three rows I think these are the rows for the other guy here but We'll uh, see if we can just grab them since we're headed down this way anyway. And we don't need course play loaded up on this guy anymore. Yep, definitely uh, was his last three rows here. That's alright. We'll uh, get him going on the correct spot here. We'll get him stopped as soon as we're done with these rows. There it is, the last corn of field 50. We'll put this right into our grain cart and grab that other combine. Boom, we've got another almost 200 bushels in this combine, so we should have enough to put into that semi at this point. We'll just load this from the back side and get the grain cart fired up here. As soon as this guy is done unloading, 
There we are. We are all wrapped up. Look at that. I can't wait to put this up into the dryer and just uh, get a rough idea of how much corn we've got in there. The good news is, is that it will be able to keep drying while we're moving everything down and setting up on the next field. I think we are going to advance a day here. The weather looks fine and we're running out of hours in the current day and I don't like playing as it starts to get dusk. It's a little bit hard to see. There we go. We are all unloaded here into the semi. We'll get uh, this guy headed back up to the farm and see how our total yield off of this field looks. And we're up here at the farm, dumping the last load of corn here into the grain dryer. You can see we're uh, putting it in. It's going up fast here. So let's finish getting this dumped out, and then we'll do some quick math. So looking at the global company menu here, you can see that we've got uh, 7,500 liters over here on the right-hand side that we've dried already, and a little over 250,000 liters on the wet side. I don't think we've unloaded any of the corn since we started putting Field 50 in, and it was pretty much empty when we started. So that puts us at uh, just over 260,000 liters of corn which would be somewhere right around 7,400 bushels so far. So not a lot of corn by uh, some of my series standards, but a good start, a good start to this series. So I'm excited to have all that corn in here and drying. We're going to be getting everything moved over to our final field of harvest for this series, I think. Field 68 down here, which is also our largest field. And so this will be a field in which we attempt to master our course play setup and uh, keep everything running as efficiently as possible. But that's going to be for next episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, drop a like. It helps me out immensely. That's all for today. Kedrick, out. Oh no, we've created our own nightmare. We don't want this guy uh, getting ahead of the other course boy driver here, so I'm going to go ahead and stop him real quick like. Leave him right there as well. Bad things happen when your combines get out of order on the course. <laughs>